Hey, welcome back in to Tiaka TV. Here we go. Louis Herman Watt and Jamie Richards coming at you again this week. Special week, though, because it's Group 1 week, which always puts a bit more pep in young Jamie Richards' step, doesn't it, Jamie? Morning. Yeah, love it. Um, hopefully that track at uh, Wellington keeps improving, and we go down there with just the, the one runner in the Group 1, so certainly um, looking forward to that. Now, I usually call you Premiership Leading Trainer, and I just thought, oh, i better go and just double-check so I, um, no one's caught up with you overnight. But no, you're still 63 wins, um, about, I don't know, nearly 40-odd clear at the top with a 5.21 strike rate. So things are going good. How uh, are you kind of, have you evaluated the season today as we head into a busy period through summer with some kind of iconic race meets where you guys want to dominate? Yeah, it's been a, it's been a really solid start. Um you know, I think uh, because of COVID and and all of those sorts of things, you know, we really came out firing. We had a lot of horses that had been well rested and were and were ready to go. That probably would have won in the autumn last year, but didn't have the opportunity to do so. That's probably helped us get off to a really good start. Um, but uh, as we're sort of picked up, the, the the tracks have continued to improve, and that's when our team sort of starts to come right. And, and the two year olds have been going well. So. Um, yeah, we had a really good carnival in the South Island, particularly the last day. Um, but I think it's been a really good, solid start. And um, we've got a lot of nice horses to race after Christmas and um, and some and some horses um, that, are, that are on the way through. Excellent stuff. Well, it, it is an exciting time of year, and we, we'll talk about it the closer we get. But with the Karaka Million coming up, there's a bit of expectation built. So no doubt. Well, actually, let's ask. Do you do you feel that? Do you do you feel that um, that pressure of the success that you've created for yourself with such stunning results in that race? Oh, I guess the only sort of pressure that that you well, yeah, the only pressure that I sort of feel is the pressure that I put on myself to do well. Um, you know, we've got some got some really good owners, got some lovely horses. A lot of people have invested a lot of money, and you want. You, know, you want to see the horses run well so that um, you know people are getting a return and, and, and enjoying their racing, which is what it's all about. So, um, yeah, we've got some really nice horses ready to go. And um, hopefully through December and into the back end of January, we can, we can um, find one or two more as well. Beautiful stuff. All right, let's crack into it then. Uh, Ellerslie first, and then we'll get down to Trentham and deal with the Group 1. Let's start. Race 2, JP and Associates made in 1300. Armelina, Savabeel, Hopscotch, three-year-old filly, who you've got a bit of time for. Uh, Craig Grills does the riding with 55 kilograms. No shortage of talent. Were you happy enough with her debut outing where she just kind of got lipped out for second at our Pooney? Yeah, I was happy with her debut. Um, just unfortunately that day, the the inside bend there at our Pooney was quite tight. Um, and, you know, she just... She sort of didn't have enough speed to muster and get handy to the speed um, and then just got a little bit of unbalanced around the corner, lay in a touch. So, no, she, she ran really well. Um, sort of had a run at Rotorua um, yesterday and scratched after drawing wide and then the field fell away, which is disappointing. Mm. And we've drawn wide again. Um, so we're going to go up there and have a look around Ellerslie. Um, but she's going to need a lot of luck from the draw. So, um, you know, she's certainly... a High class filly, but um, it's going to be a you know really difficult task for, for her up there on the weekend from the barrier. Yeah, barrier eighteen. So I'm sure there would have been some people wondering if uh, there would be another scratching, but you do want to see her run. Yeah, we, we'd like to go up there and have a look around uh, as we head into Ellerslie. Hopefully, she's a, a three year old filly on the way up, and um, you know we'll take her up there, have a little bit of a look around, and 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 then we can firm up some plans from there. Race five, Victor Weirdo, uh, White Water. Park 2100 open handicap Tiaka Caliburn from 11 with Joe Cameroon 62 kilograms I assume he claims four um looks to have needed the first couple of runs but when you scratched this guy last week Jamie you said watch out for where he lands so it's a pretty tidy field is there any chance he can give some cheek at decent odds absolutely there is he's going well uh he'll like the improved track that's sort of what we've been waiting on a little bit with him um he was sort of ready to go for the county's cup and just a little bit off colour. Held up with a wet track last week. So his work's been solid. Um, he's got to carry a lot of weight, uh, but he needs to have a run before the City of Auckland Cup there on New Year's Day. That's probably where we'll go next. But um, hopefully we can sneak forward a little bit from that awkward draw and put him up there in the race and then see how we get on. 
Excellent stuff. All right, there you go. Race six, Mitchell Family Bone Crusher Stakes, a group three for the three-year-olds over the 1,400. Perfect scenario from gate four. Grillsy again, 56 and a half. Decent third last start and was beaten by uh, She's a Catch from Emory, which looks a pretty promising type. So up to 1,400, that's not going to be a worry? No, I don't think so. He's sort of been looking out for this trip for a little while. This is a race we've had picked out for him. Um, I think, you know, it's a... Pretty tidy field, um, but he was really good last time. His, his form before that was encouraging, so we expect him to go up there and be a really nice each way chance and hopefully get a little bit of black type. Excellent stuff. Race eight, Electrolux 1200 open handicap. Acting out of barrier 11, Ashvin Gundasami does the riding 54, claiming the one. Probably not a horse too many are overly familiar with. There's some large prize money figures when you look next to the name of the Savabiel, uh, four year old Savabiel meal. Uh, Bill, Mia Jamie, what can you tell us about acting? Uh, she's a mare that um, uh, was in Melbourne, um, owned by Waikato Stud, and she came home to be covered by Super Seth, uh, and she's safely in foal, and we're rolling the dice with her to try and um, get a group one. Um, she's a group two winner of the Guineas Prelude, or one of those lead-in races to the 1,000 Guineas. Um, she's a very good mare. She's trolled up well. Um, been pleased with her. She was to to race at Levin last week uh, on the wet track, but we just scratched and waited. Um, and she'll run here from a slightly awkward gate. She'll be going back a little bit, running home, uh, with a view to uh, going to the railway on New Year's Day. Okay, so she'll be into the railway with um, Avantage as well. Yep, that's the plan. Um, she'll be down in the weights, but she is um, guaranteed to start because of her um, Group Two win in Melbourne. So. Yeah, she's, uh, she's going well. Certainly look out for her to be hitting the line strongly. Interesting. Okay. Race nine, Vodafone Events Centre, 1,500. Nine secret, a more from five with Craig Grills carrying 57. Very cruisy maiden win last start and comes back to Ellerslie where you think uh, she could run a quite a nice race, Jamie. Yeah, I really like this mare. Um, thought she's a bit stiff on Melbourne Cup Day to not win. Um, just got beat a lip. Was impressive at Rotorua. Uh, she's drawn a nice low barrier, work's been good, she's holding her condition well and um, we're running here with the hope of trying to qualify for the um, Stella Artois there on, on Boxing Day and all going well, that'll be her, that'll be her next start. Excellent stuff, alright, there you go, that's done with uh, Allersley, now this is the, the headliner for the day really, Trentham, uh, down, down the way in Wellington, the Ridges Wellington Group 1 gets us fizzed. Captain Cook stakes, it's over the mile, weight for age conditions, $200,000 prize money. No Melody Bell or Avantage lining up, which means the son of Savabiel, Perez de Fur, out of barrier three, gets his chance. Opie Bosson's up and he'll be dialed in, wanting another group one. He loves this stuff. 59 kilograms. Gets his chance. How is Perez de Fur doing, Jamie? Perez de Fur's in, in, in really good shape. Um, He's had a bit of a quiet time since uh, since Hastings, um, but he's had a jump out in Exhibition Gallop. He's certainly he's up to the mark. He's uh, where we want him to be. Um, he galloped at Harapa last Wednesday, worked nicely, and has done nothing but improve since then. Opie was very complimentary of his work uh, this morning, um, and he'll head down tomorrow. Uh, just that the main thing about him uh, is whether that track continues to improve or whether it sort of stays in the slow range. If it got back to a six or a seven, uh, he'd be a you know, really genuine each way chance. If it just sort of got a bit puggy or a bit holding, um, there might be some others that prefer a little bit of easing in the ground more so than he does. But he's in great shape and um, just would like to see that track get back. The, the latest intel I've got is that the track is kind of not far away from that slow seven range. I guess the concern is the, the 40% chance of rain on Saturday, which would be quite niggly. So as you said, the, the track is quite uh, particular to how close he could go. The mile, is this is going to be his distance moving forward, do you think? Is this where he'll do his best work? Yeah, I think it could well be. Um, he's been good at 2,000 metres um, before. Uh, last time at Hastings, we just rode him too handy to the speed. He didn't get any cover and over raced. Um, so just put a bit of a line through that. Um, but his run at, uh, in the autumn in the bone crusher uh, was, was full of merit. He had a really good section. It was that day from back in the field uh, when beaten by Avantage. But I think a mile fresh suits him. Um, yeah, it's a, 
it's a small but select lineup, and there's a lot of quality there. But we we go in there confident of of a good showing. Um, as long as that rain doesn't arrive on Saturday, it'd be a blessing. Yep. All right. Well, we'll go work out what the rain's doing. We'll dial Jim Hickey in at some stage. Jamie, are you heading down to the capital? Yes, more than likely. Um, go down there and chuck a saddle on and see how we go. <laughs> saddle in a suit. There you go, Jamie Richards. Yeah, premiership leading trainer. Louis Hemmer, what? That's Tiaka TV done. Jamie, your best of the weekend would be? Secret Amor at LSC, I think. Yeah, had a feeling. You've had a feeling you were going that way. All right, excellent stuff. Best of luck to Connections and everybody doing the riding, all of the horses out there. Hopefully, it's another fruitful weekend for Team Tiaka. Catch you next time on Tiaka TV.